All right, Yins guys. I couldn't think of anything else to do a Let's Play on because all the good video games everybody else has done Let's Plays on, so... I'm gonna show you guys this game. I like it a lot. It's a more fun version of Pac-Man. So, let's go. Yeah, I don't know about this. For some reason, Fraps does not like this game too well. It's going all slow and stuff. I notice every time I play, every time I play, I turn Fraps off, and it really goes like hell. <laughs> but oh, I don't know if any of these guys out there can recommend another software for recording this that won't go all slow like this, I like somebody to let me know. But I'm using Fraps and it don't seem to mix very well with this game. And I know it has to be Fraps because I have other games that I've used Fraps on and it didn't go all slow. It just doesn't mix. But. I'm just going to screw around with this anyway and um, show you what the game looks like. Oh, another life. Fun thing about this game is, see, you can eat little things and get another life like I just did, or, whoops, or you can get this rocket. I hope it shows the rocket. I can show you, guys. But you can get a rocket and zoom real fast and eat the ghosts or get away from them real fast, but... But like I said, this is going all slow and crap. And I'm just going to show it to you in skies anyway. Oh, the rocket! And the dang ghosts are guarding it. Look at that. Well, anyway, you get to eat that rocket and you can go, like, real fast and stuff. Oh, another life. Cleared the board. Yeah, see, my Pac-Man goes faster than this. But it's just the stupid fraps. Fraps does, just does not like this game at all. I thought you guys just might want to see something cool anyway, so I went ahead and did it. I'm gonna play a little bit, I guess, and then I'll just... Oh, the rocket! I want to see what happens now. Whoa, look! Ah, shit! Damn it! Woo! Yikes! I just like the techno wave music going on here. That makes the game uh, a little bit more fun. Not like the noise he makes when he gets killed. Watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and get killed here so I could end the game. It's getting kind of getting kind of boring because Fraps is messing up the game and making it actually going in slow-mo here. Ah! I went right through him. How's that? Look at that. I cleared the board. I wasn't even trying to clear the board. I was actually trying to get killed, really. But I'm going to go ahead and get killed so that I can finish up this game and just see what's up with the Fraps here. Let's see if I can find other software.
Jeez, I got four more lives. Three. Ha! <laughs> I went right through. And uh, what the heck? I'll eat this power dot. Two more lives left. How did I do that? I went right through him again. Did you see that? I think you can do the same thing in, uh, just like the classic Pac-Man. There's a thing where if you wait for the eyes, you see how the eyes go, or if they're moving, like, opposite direction for a split second and the eyes look away from you see how their eyes move and you can go through them and get away from them so evidently this game plays by the same rule but anyway and if any Ian's guys that are familiar with classic Pac-Man that's one of the secret tricks you can watch the eyes and a certain way the ghost goes and you can actually go through a ghost to get away from it and not get eaten. And I'm trying to lose my life on purpose anyway so I can end this game. So I don't want to go past the 10 minute mark here. Then I'd have to splice the video. Okay. I just like hearing the noise that happens when I get eaten. There it goes. Well, anyway, I think this is pretty cool. The point of this is to show you guys this game. It's pretty addictive if you get it. You'll be playing it all day. Really fun game. Just don't pay no mind to what you're watching here. Like I said, Fraps doesn't like this game very well. The Pac-Man actually moves a lot faster. All the action is a lot faster. Alright, see you guys later. Oh, and by the way, yeah, go to the Game Range Studio website and you can get a copy of this of your own. It's called Game Range Studio.